Welcome to the video on estimation. So we have a problem, 5,738 divided by 21. What I want you to do is I want you to get out your math notebook or a piece of paper, and I want you to do this work with us. I would prefer your math notebook. You can pause the video while you wait to get that out. You could title this problem number one right there. That's a little ugly. Let's do this. Beep. In order to solve this problem, you have to find numbers that are compatible, right? That's the big way of doing these problems, numbers that are compatible. We are not going to round right here. No rounding. Got that? So in order to find compatible numbers, we're going to figure out what we are going to move to. Now listen, 21... We're going to make that 20 because that's the easiest thing for me to do here. 21, 20. So much easier to do a multiple of 10. <clears throat> now, what can I do? I'm going to look at the first digit, maybe sometimes the second two digits. Like, what do I know 20 goes into, right? Or what do I know 2 goes into? I know it doesn't go into 57. 58 would be okay, but I know that 6, 60, right? is going to be so much better. I would, to solve this, to estimate this division party, I would change 5,738 to 6,000 and 21 to 20. As simple as that. And then, you know, you go through the whole thing about how you solve this. You realize that 2 goes into 6, 2 goes into 6 three times. And then there is one zero, so they cancel out. What's left? Two zeros. So it will be 300 right there. And 20 times 300 would equal, you can check your work, right? 20 times 300. Actually, what I would love you to do is I'd love for you to write this stuff down. Actually, we'll put estimation party like this. Uh, I'd like to put this in your math notebook. This will be something that you need to have. These are your notes for how to estimate math problems um, or at least division problems and we're going to keep them right like this which will be great so go ahead and pause the video if you need to to get all these notes down i'm going to move on from this but make sure you pause resume the video when you're done i'm going to go through how to solve these problems together Okay, you see I put a new number on here. Hopefully all your notes are copied by now so you're not distracted while you're listening to me. We have 382 divided by 44. Okay, first thing we have to do is find compatible numbers. What am I going to do first? We're going to change the divisor. The divisor is the little guy. That's your divisor, 44. So we're going to change 44 into 40. Check, change the divisor. Next, we need to change the dividend. The dividend is the other number. So 382. And I have to ask myself, ready? I have a 4 here. I have a 38 here. I know it's 382, but we're going to say 38 because it's going to help us make our change, right? So does 4 times anything give me 38? No. What 4 times what gives me something close to that? I know... Well, I know 4 times, I'm going to put this up here, 4 times 9 equals 36, right? That's really close to 38. So what I'm going to change this to is 36. Don't forget the 2, right? Got to be a 0. Now I have 360 divided by 40. Check. Now, that that's the steps, guys. That's exactly what you have to do. First, you change the 44 to 40. Then you think. You notice I underlined the 4 and I underlined the 38. That might help you to solve these problems. So think about underlining. Step 4, solve multiples of 10. Well, I know that 4 goes into 36 9 times. I'll cancel those zeros out. And my answer should be 9. Check with multiplication. 40 times 9 equals 36, 360. 
That is perfect. Same thing, we'll do it one more time and I'll have you try it with me too, okay? All right, we have a new problem on the board here. Uh, 7,000, put a little comma right there. 7,048 divided by 83. What do we do first? Oh, I forgot to erase my check marks. What do I do first? I have to find compatible numbers. Change the divisor first. Which one's the divisor? The little guy. So I'm going to make 83 into 80. That sounds great. And now I have an 8 and I have a 70. And I ask myself, well, what times 8 will give me close to 70? Well, I know that 8 times, oh, it's 9 again, equals 72. And that's pretty close. So we are going to change this into 72. Don't forget the 48. That's going to change into zeros. So 7,200 is close to 7,048, so we're on the right track here. Check, check, solve for multiples of 10. 72 divided by eight equals nine. Cancel those zeros out. There's one zero remaining. It should be 90, 80 times 90. Oops, 90 equals 72, zero, zero. Perfect. All right, the next one you're going to do on your own, and then you will check your work with me. All right, here's your next problem right here. Why don't you try and solve this one on your own? Oop, just deleted that. Solve this one on your own and see if that works for you, all right? Pause the video, solve it, and then come back and see if you got it right. We're going to change 39 first. Can you go away? Thank you. 39 is going to become a 40. And then I have to ask myself, 4 and 26, what goes there? If you didn't get 40, go ahead and pause it right now and see if I corrected you, if you're able to solve it now that I've given you that one hint. I'm going to change 26 into 24. Don't forget these guys. It's got to be 0, 0, right? Remember, these two things should be close to each other, and they are. 2400 and 2640 are close to each other. And then we just pop this in, 424. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. The zeros cancel out. There's one more zero. Check it with multiplication. That seems right as well. All right, one more for you. We have 1,879 divided by 48. Try and solve this on your own and see if you can get it correct. So pause the video, try and solve it, and then resume. This is what I came up with to change my 5 and 18. Maybe you did 15. Not so bad, just 20 would be a little closer here. 5 goes into 20 four times. The zeros cancel out. The answer is 40. So 50 times 40 equals 20 with two zeros. Okay, guys, good luck. I hope you uh, were able to solve this. If not, um, I'm happy to help. And uh, good luck with solving the problems in the worksheets in this unit.